welcome to my library. My name is Melissa and welcome to the dogs being all over me. Yeah, this intro is yikes, but welcome to another weekly reading vlog. Um, it is Feb February, oh my gosh. It's April 6th, 6th today. And um, even though it's my busiest time at work, I decided I wanted to try to have somewhat of a balance in my life and um, vlog a little bit and hopefully that gives me the motivation to read and um, you know have a life outside of work I guess and so yeah I thought I would show you guys what I'm reading this week so my main read is Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy so um, yeah I'm loving this book so far it is super readable which I did not expect um, I, I kind of thought going in for some random reason that it was going to be um, a little bit difficult to get into, but it really isn't. Uh, the only thing that's a little bit um, jarring at first is getting used to all the names because this is translated from Russia and from Russian... Uh, this is translated <laughs> from the Russian language, so the names are um, a little bit, you know, they're just different and it's it's awesome. I, I actually love it because it's you know kind of getting yourself immersed in th in a different culture but um yeah that is the only thing um i'm having a great time discussing this over um on voxer as well as instagram for the various people that are joining me on this be on this buddy read um and yeah i'm done with part one so i'm about an eighth of the way in <laughs> uh but so far, I've really enjoyed the characterization of Anna and Levin. Those are the two main characters that I've loved so far. Um, the other characters in the story, I have not loved. Um, they're all men who are very chauvinistic and you can tell it's just, you know, a reflection on um, the freedoms that men had that women didn't back then and um it's very evident <laughs> anyways i also i know that this story is a, an affair story it's all about how this woman um you know ha her ultimate demise is um from this affair she has but um so far it's it's been better than i thought um I, I like the character Vronsky that is the main hero in this story. Um, he has a very different outlook on life than Anna used to have and she's kind of realizing the error of her ways I guess and um, how she shouldn't feel so um, constrained by social expectations. Not to say that an affair is at all okay but just the fact that um, she was a woman of that time who was uh, had an arranged marriage essentially like she was married to this man for his status and um he doesn't love her and she doesn't get any respect from him and so um she's kind of taking her her life into her own hands i guess so it's it's pretty interesting so far so yeah this book is what i'm currently reading and then um I also have on audio, um, what is it called? Flight Girls by Noelle Salazar. I'm really enjoying this. Um, it is so far a romance and I'm loving it. Um, it's a World War II historical fiction book, but it is about um, three women who are part of this program where they were women were asked to help and train recruits during World War II who knew how to fly. And um, these women know, know how to fly for various reasons, whether they grew up on a ranch and um, flew like the, the farmer planes and stuff, or um, what was the other reasons for why they knew how to fly? I can't even remember, but <laughs> anyways. Um, so this main girl, um, she's there, she's in, she's in Hawaii, and she meets this lieutenant there and um, they both do not want to have an attachment. Um, they are, they really are um, wanting to just keep it as a friendship and um, they both don't really believe in the institution of marriage, but 
Um, they're falling in love and it's really cute, but also this, this book is very tragic. Pearl Harbor just happened in this book and it was traumatic and so, so sad. Um, so I'm really interested to see where the story goes. I really love the writing so far and the audio narration is really done well as well. So, um, so yeah, I have that one going and I'm glad that I'm getting more into historical fiction audiobooks. Um, that was one of the things that I was noticing about myself recently was that I could really only get into historical romances via audio. And ever since I listened to the Jane Austen Society on audio, I've really wanted to try historical fictions out more. And so when this came through on my library app, I just decided I'd, I'd give it a listen and it's going well so far. So um, in light of historical fiction, I do have a book to show you guys that I just bought. Um, I bought this from Barnes and Noble um, on a weekend, um, a Sunday outing with my husband. Um, it is Our Darkest Night by Jennifer Robson. So this has been on my TBR and on my to buy list for um, a while. I, I saw it, I can't remember who I originally saw this on um, their channel, but um, this was a book that, this is a book that sounds very, very similar to From Sand and Ash to me, um, just the overall vibe of it. Basically it says, to survive the Holocaust, a young Jewish woman must pose as a Christian farmer's wife in this unforgettable novel inspired by true events. And I just love that idea. So um, it's going to be like, you know, an arranged, a forced marriage um, that obviously they end up <laughs> hopefully falling in love. And I love that idea. I also really love Jennifer Robson's writing. Um, I've read her before. Somewhere in France is a favorite of mine. And so, yeah, I just decided to pick this up. And hopefully it's as good as um, the reviews are showing. And yeah, I'm just really, really excited about it. I wish this was a step back. Can you imagine if historical fictions like this had like an amazing two-pager step back? I would die. <laughs> That's okay. I can dream. Um, so yeah, I'm going to continue reading Anna Karenina hopefully tonight after I'm done with work. We'll see. <laughs> um and I will keep you updated on if I have any further updates or if I have any mail. I'm actually expecting some mail today or um, this week. So I will show you that I will show you guys that as well. And just stay tuned. Love me a good Taco Bell cravings box. <laughs> Five dollars, y'all. <laughs> it's awesome. Yes. A beautiful sunny day. I'm gonna be enjoying this outside with my doggos. Huh. Good morning everyone. Um, it's Thursday morning. I don't even know the 8th. <laughs> um, and I got some very exciting mail. Um, I I saw on Instagram my favorite bookstore, Pioneer Book which is a childhood bookstore in Utah. Um, they were advertising that they got new editions, beautiful editions of classic books, and um, you could hold them if you wanted. And so I asked if they could hold me um, a copy of Persuasion by Jane Austen that I saw that they had, and um, that my sister would go and pick it up because she lives close. And so, yeah, they were they were happy to. And so I had my sister go and pick up this book and mail it to me. <laughs> and I paid her for shipping, obviously, um, and paid her to go and buy it. But um, yeah, I'm so excited to open this. Yes, it is. Oh my gosh. So this is it. So I just loved this like interaction that's happening here. They're holding hands. Um, I don't know what it is about this cover, but I, I honestly like love it. I love when a couple is shown on the cover. Like that's my favorite thing ever. Um, and then it says, there could have been no two hearts so open, no taste so similar, no feelings so in unison, no countenances so beloved. Jane Austen Persuasion, that's on the back. 
Wow. Oh my gosh. I, I honestly, I love this so much. <laughs> like this is so beautiful. So yay. Another like beautiful classics to own in my collection. Wow. Look how pretty the um, like chapter headings and everything is too. Super easy font as well. It's like kind of compact. So you can just read it on this page here. That is so nice. Okay. Yeah, so um, this is a, another great Jane Austen book to add to my collection. I actually went on a huge binge and bought a ton of classics. So I'll have even more classics editions to show you guys. But um, speaking of classics, I am still reading Anna Karenina. Um, I am loving it. The discussion on Voxer that we're having is really, really good. And um, anyways... The thing that I love so much currently about the book is um, there is a lot of like inner turmoil that you can really feel that Anna is having about um, this affair she's having. And then um, as well, I'm really enjoying just the whole plot development. I really don't know where it's going to go because um, Anna's husband now knows that she's kind of going on with this guy and so um he wasn't concerned about it initially but then because of society and them talking and gossiping about her he now is because he's like a political figure and so he um has this really kind of demeaning talk to her about how she shouldn't be um making such a fuss and how she needs to just be in her place you know and so um Anyways, she kind of like took a stand and it was awesome, but um, yeah, it's just, it's a lot of like, I, I'm just so torn about it all because in no way am I trying to say that I justify an affair or that I think adultery is at all acceptable. I don't at all um, for any reason, but um, you know, like I've said in other clips, she was kind of trapped, right? And, um, you know, she, she lived in a time where women had no freedom. And so, yeah, it's just a very interesting book to read. But yeah, I'm still loving it. And I have a huge work day ahead of me, unfortunately. Um, so I don't know how much reading I'm going to be able to do. But I will keep you updated if I have anything else to show you guys. Oh, I do have something else to show you. Um, but currently, so I got my Harry Potter bed sheets that I was talking to you guys about <laughs> in my last vlog. Um, yeah, I, I bought some, um, some bedding from Pottery Barn. They have this new Harry Potter collection. And they had this Patronus themed um, bed sheet that I, not sheet, um, it's a duvet cover that I really wanted. And it came in the mail and I put it together and it looks so good. I don't even think it looks like too um, teenagery for lack of a better word. Like um, it's like a classy Harry Potter duvet cover. <laughs> Anyways, I will show you guys what it looks like right now. My bed is covered in laundry though. So maybe that's my motivation to do laundry so that I can show off my bed. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'll do that uh, at some point today and show you guys that cool duvet cover. Hi, Porter. Hi. <laughs> I thought I would show you guys um, my bed sheets I was talking about in my last vlog, they finally came and I did the laundry, so I wanted to show them off. <laughs> um, yes, they're so pretty. So yeah, it's just like a bunch of Patronus. So you've got like this stag here. Yeah, and then you've got like um, owls and books and flying keys and like a Horcrux sign here. Anyways, I just think it's so pretty. I love it so much. And I don't think it's like that. I think it's kind of understated. Does that make sense? Like it's not like over the top. Maybe it's just me, but anyways, 
I just think it looks real good. <laughs> It is um, April 12th, <laughs> one of the busiest days of the year for me, but I got some so exciting book mail. Um, so I wanted to quickly film this and film my reaction. Um, so Serafina over on Instagram is one of my really, really good friends over there. And um, we message back and forth a lot and she, is just such a like good person i don't know she just seems so sweet and anyway she messaged me and we have very similar tastes like it's kind of crazy how similar our tastes are um and anyway she messaged me saying she wanted to uh send me some books and i was so so flattered um i just can't thank you enough especially like with all the craziness going on at work um, it was just so nice to see something in the mail and um, yeah, a perfect excuse to take a break from my computer and film this really fast. And um, also I'll give you an update on my reading afterwards. <clears throat> but yes, here is the box. Oh, Lily wants me to play fetch with her. <laughs> um, here is the box. I'm so excited. Okay. It is so pretty. Look how... Look how literally gorgeous this is. Like pink and beautiful. Um, and like, kind of like my pink. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I really like pale pink. <laughs> okay, I'm just noticing the details here. Look at how pretty these bath bombs are. Oh my goodness. So there's like this beautiful, um, what did she say this is? Hawaiian suntan. Oh my goodness, this is rainbow sherbet. Wow, oh my gosh, what is this one? Lavender, I'm guessing this one's honey. <laughs> honey and cream, okay. And this one, whoa, what does it say? It says chill pill, <laughs> that's so cute. And this one says, pink sugars that is the nicest thing and i cannot wait to just take a bath and chill with one of these well all of them <laughs> at some point but yeah that is definitely in order oh look what she sent me oh it's the classic sweatshirt isn't this from um from hello lovely i think it says historical romance readers club because rakes, dukes, and scoundrels. I'm gonna put this on because I'm literally that excited about it. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what we got going on. <laughs> I'd like a t-shirt underneath, but that's fine. Yay, and it fits, it looks so good. Wow, I'm part of like the cool club now. <laughs> Just kidding but yes okay thank you so much adorable and just so sweet she is such a nice human <laughs> Wednesday, Wednesday, April 14th, and um, work has finally slowed down for me, which is ironic because it's the day before tax day, but um, everything is out of my hands and into much more senior or uh, <laughs> farther along up the totem pole people. So that's why I'm a lot less busy. And um, I am so excited because this box came in the mail, highly anticipated for me. I'm so excited to show you guys what I ended up buying. Um, it was honestly somewhat of an impulse buy when I just wanted to treat myself and have something to look forward to for after busy season was over. 
and so and kind of just congratulate myself I guess I don't know whatever it doesn't matter um, and so I ended up finding I've been on the hunt for the season's edition of Pride and Prejudice um, the season's edition books are very very high-end hard to find books and um, they're very expensive <laughs> and so I saw this version unwrapped from what it looks like on Mercari and um, they're normally double the price of what I paid for this book. So um, I snagged it and I'm so excited to see if it's actually what I ordered. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm just opening it up. Oh my gosh, oh my goodness. Wow, okay, it looks good so far. And I cannot, I cannot believe how beautiful. Let's see. She like double, she like double bubble wrapped it too. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. Wow. This is gorgeous. The reason I wanted this edition was obviously this beautiful cutout. Um, these are like laser cut book sleeves. Um, that's why they're so expensive, I think. And that it has like the most beautiful teal blue sprayed edges. So yeah, I'll show you guys how it works. So yeah, it has this like laser cut um, book sleeve and then you can take it off and, and uh, then just the teal book is underneath. So that's what it looks like. <sighs> wow, this is so pretty. And then this is kind of just the simple um, book without the book sleeve which I think is really pretty. Um, and then it says, you and Papa and my sisters must come down and see us. We shall be at Newcastle all the winter. And I dare say there will be some balls and I will take care to get good partners for them all. So uh, I think that's because um, the season's edition means that they come out with a new book each season. And so this was the winter edition. And so, um, like the winter book essentially so that's why it has kind of like a wintry quote on the back I think and then it says this book belongs to so I'm gonna write my name in there so excited and then I know that they only come out with 10,000 editions of this book and so it says right here this book is number 6,185 of 10,000 so cool right isn't this just the most beautiful edition ever like I am and these pages are gorgeous too just stark white and really really easy to read font um yeah seriously one of the prettiest books I have ever owned in my entire life um oh and look it has like little like um illustrations in it as well so let's see what this one is on the following Monday, Mrs. Bennett had the pleasure of receiving her brother and his wife, who came as usual to spend the Christmas at Longbourn. Mr. Gardner was a sensible, gentlemanlike man, greatly superior to his sister, as well by nature and education. <laughs> Cute. Oh, wow. Okay. So, yeah, that is the uh, special edition book that I got in the mail. Um, so, I am so excited. Seriously, the prettiest cover I've ever owned in my entire life. <laughs> I just had to. This is going front and center on my shelves somewhere as a shrine. <laughs> but okay, the, uh, the other thing I have to show you guys is a, um, a another box of David's tea that I got. I also treated myself to some tea because I was running out, especially I didn't have any tea that I could drink at night that is caffeine free and um that would just kind of like be soothing or you know just kind of like a chamomile type of tea and so i really wanted some that i could drink at night instead of in the morning i i love david's tea so much um so yeah let's just show you guys what i got so i got um well this is ironic because i just said i wanted stuff that wasn't for breakfast but this is the thing that i got for breakfast it's uh david's breakfast blend I've never tried it, but it is one of their most popular mixes. And so I knew I wanted to try it. It's a black tea. I'm not, I'm not really sure what the flavor is, but I like black tea. So I'm down to try it. 
And the caffeine level is, I'm sure, high on this one. Yeah, high caffeine. So, so that'll be for the morning. But here's some of the nighttime stuff. So I got um, peppermint, Ar peppermint armor. Um, this is just a straight up kind of peppermint tea. I love peppermint tea so much, um, especially at night. I know it's kind of a morning tea because it's like refreshing, but I actually really like peppermint tea at night to like soothe stomachs and stuff. So there's that one. Forever Nuts. If you guys have not tried this flavor, it is so good. I was like kind of put off by the title nuts. Like I was like, I don't really want like a nutty flavored tea. I don't love like peanut butter or anything like that. Um, but this is a very like, it tastes like an apple cinnamon pie to me. <laughs> That's what this tastes like. It's so good. Um, it's not too cinnamon cinnamony though, um, but it's very sweet. So I love this one. Okay, so here's my really like nighttime stuff. So the first one is um, a mix of five different types of tea. So this is night night and um, it has Calming Chamomile, Mother's Little Helper, Serenity Now, Tranquility, and Valerian Nights. Um, I've had two of those five flavors, but but yeah, so I got this box. This has 20 in it. Um, so yeah, there's this one. I got another one. <laughs> and then um, Feel Good Essentials. Oh yeah, this is kind of for like if you are feeling under the weather or you think a cold is coming on. Um, these are the teas you should drink for that, which I love those types of teas too. Um, the one I've tried in this is the Organic Cold 911. It's just super like gingery and um, citrusy at the same time. And it's really good for, uh, for fighting colds, at least in my opinion. I love drinking tea all the time, but especially when I'm feeling under the weather. So got this one. <clears throat> and then I got loose tea actually as well because I've been really getting to, into loose tea lately. So I got some more of these flavors that I know I'll like. And so I got two calming chamomiles, which I love chamomile tea. It's my second favorite type of tea. Um, so I got two of those. And then I got another peppermint amora, which is peppermint is my favorite type of tea. So, so yeah, I got another one of those. So yeah, that was my fun mail that I got today, which couldn't have come at a better time. Um, all the mail I've gotten this week has just been awesome. Uh, I still can't get over the, the mail I got from Serafina. It's so nice. So yeah, the definite highlight of this vlog will be this book though. <laughs> of my life, honestly. I'm just so excited about it. Um, so yeah, I'll update. Well, I guess I'll update on my reading while I'm at it here. Um, so I have been listening to a ton of Flight Girls and um, right now it's really getting into um, kind of a love triangle situation where she had this romance with this lieutenant in, in, Pearl, in uh, Hawaii during Pearl Harbor and then they kind of went their separate ways and then now she's at this new um, army base, this like airfield base um, and she has this instructor there that has been paying special attention to her. And um, so she's kind of been shirking him and like trying to avoid the situation, but he keeps having conversations with her, running into her, etc. And she's slowly starting to develop feelings for him now. And she feels very conflicted about it because she feels like she's kind of like betraying this Lieutenant that she had this, um, kind of like a fling with, but they friend zoned each other. And so um, obviously like her peers, her friends are like, you don't need to like stay loyal to him. I mean, if you love him, sure, but um, you're free to do whatever you want with your life, I guess. And so it's actually very interesting to me because I'm like, I don't know, I could see it going either way in the end where either um, she ends up seeing Lieutenant again somehow and then they get back together or um, it could be more like realistic, quote unquote, and she could kind of just realize that she loves this, this instructor that um, has been very kind to her. So I don't know, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, that's kind of um, all the reading I've been doing. I've been slowly getting my, through, my way through Anna Karenina as well, but that one is coming very slowly because I have literally stayed up till like midnight every night working. 
And so I have not had hardly any time to read. It's been, it's been one of those weeks, <laughs> um, but I will definitely have more time this next week, this next month to read. And I'm so excited. My, my head needs it. Like my, my mental health, I need a break. <laughs> so yeah, it needs to happen. But um, yeah, that's the update. I don't know if I should, I think I might close the vlog out here. Yeah, I think I'll close the vlog out here and just say thank you guys so much for congratulating me and all the best wishes I've had on my um, my milestone of reaching a thousand subscribers. I seriously, I'm in awe. Um, I'm so, so thankful to each and every one of you. Um, I, I really am so flattered and thank you again so much. With all that being said, please like and comment. I reply to every single comment. Eventually, I know I'm behind. I am so sorry if you're still waiting for me to comment on something from like weeks ago. I have been so behind on comments, um, but please forgive me. And um, please subscribe if you wanna see more from me. And I will see you guys in another video. Bye.